All right guys, beautiful day. I decided to film this video outside, but more importantly, my XLR Element 4.0 chassis has finally made it. Uh, super pumped to get this thing out of the box and get it put together. Um, I currently have the Christensen Ridgeline FFT chambered in 7PRC. I've had this gun for a little over a year now. Um, if you've watched any of my hunts lately, you've seen that I've taken a mule deer and a bear with this rifle. Absolutely love it. But uh, I was looking to put it in this chassis for two reasons. One, to uh, save a little bit of weight. And two, to make my rifle more compact with the foldable stock and to make it a little easier um, backpacking in the backcountry with all the gear we're packing around, camera gear, food, rafts, tents, all that stuff. So this thing's going to do the trick for me. I'll get it unboxed, we'll get it weighed and get it put together and I'll let you guys check it out. All right, just kind of first impressions here. This thing is extremely light. It feels like it weighs like under a pound, but I'm sure it's a little heavier than that. So get it out of the box here. And just slap it on the scale. Yeah, this thing just doesn't weigh anything. God, it's so light. I went with the uh, OD Green carbon fiber grip and the foldable stock option. So get this thing slapped on the scale and see what it weighs. All right guys, we got it unboxed. This thing is uh, super light, right around two pounds. Feels awesome. It's light, compact. Got a built-in level here on the back, which is awesome as well. I'm gonna get this thing assembled and kind of take you guys through the process. In the box here, you got uh, your screws. I got my mag and then some instructions. So. Um, looks like it should be pretty straightforward, pretty easy to assemble. I'm going to get uh, everything pulled out of my old rifle and, and get it popped in this thing and show you guys the final product. All right, so to disassemble this rifle, of course, it's unloaded. It's just two Allen head screws in the bottom of the stock here. On this particular gun, it's 530 seconds and get this thing pulled apart and swapped over. All right guys, that was really easy, just two screws. You can see I've got it removed from the original stock and now it's time to switch it over to the XLR Element chassis. All right guys, got everything taken apart. Um, I've got my Wheeler torque wrench out in inch pounds. The instructions say to torque this thing down at 65 inch pounds. And then I've applied some lithium uh, anti-seize, dope, whatever you want to call it, to both of the, the bolts that, are, that come with the kit. And uh, I'm going to get this thing put together, get it started with an Allen wrench by hand, and then we'll torque it down to 65 inch pounds. And that's it. It should be that simple. So I'll try to get this thing popped together real quick. So it should just drop right in like so. Figure out the best way to hold this guy. Just gonna get a couple threads started on this side and then we'll get a couple threads started on the front here before we finish tightening it down. Kind of 
gonna go back and forth and evenly snug things up. All right, time for the torque wrench. Try not to put too much uh, tweak on my scope here. And that simple. It's assembled very easy, very quick. Go back and check one more time. It's good to go, set at 65. There you have it guys, that fast. It took a couple minutes if you get all your stuff out. Real easy, done deal. Super light, feels awesome. Let's get this guy back in. All right guys, I'm pumped. Super easy. Um, you could probably do this in like five minutes if you've done this before, I've never done it. So had to get the right tools and whatnot out. Um, really easy. I made a slight adjustment to the cheek rest here uh, for a little bit more space on the action, but it operates flawlessly, mags in. I mean, it's absolutely awesome. Can't wait to get this thing out and shoot it, make sure I'm still zeroed and uh, taking this thing on a spring bear hunt, 10 day backpack hunt here with my buddy Joseph uh, in Idaho. And uh, I can't wait to put this thing to the test. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, uh, drop them in the comments. Please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Been at this YouTube thing for quite a while. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it and uh, catch you on the next one.